Good morning, YouTube. It's your boy Tech B Swift coming to you today on January 6, 2016. I hope you guys had a happy new year. Matter of fact, I hope you had a merry new year. That's Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in one. Trading places, 1983. Um, I'm only 32 years old, so don't ask me why I know that movie. So today I'm bringing you the Koala Google Cardboard. This is a version 2. Um, the nice people and great people over at Brand Reviews sent this unit over to me to review. I've had a Google Cardboard in the past before, um, and they're a lot of fun. They're actually a lot of fun. Everybody has their own take on it. There's several different models you can purchase. Some hardcover, some just to do a DIY cardboard boxes. Um, but let's jump into it, see what it is. So, when you open it up at the package, this is what it looks like. On one side of it, it says get the, <coughs> get the cardboard, Google Cardboard. Google.com backslash cardboard. It's way too early for this. Um, on the back side of it, it shows you what it's supposed to look like in the end. Um, it's a nice diagram design. On the back side of it, or side of it, it shows you the steps on how to make the Google Cardboard. Um, I will throw this disclaimer out there now. I will be using my Nexus 6P, and it does not really fit the Nexus 6P. It works. But it doesn't necessarily, like I said, fit for the next 6P. You have to be very careful when you have it in there. And then on the other side, there's nothing. On this side, it just shows a little Velcro. And this side, it shows Velcro as well. So let's jump into it. We get this Xbox controller out the way. For those of you out there on the Xbox One, look me up at 2 Swizzle. That's uh, T-W-O-S-W-I-Z-Z-L-E. I'm out there murking cats on the Black Ops 3 right now. Loving it. So... Let's move this over to, to the side. Actually, I put the instruction in the front. Hope you guys can still see this. That way I can walk you through. So this is what it looks like when it comes in. Um, you see the two lenses on the back. You see the QR code um, right here located. This is so that when you install the Google Cardboard app, it'll walk you through exactly how to install this and set it up for which model you have. Um, back side has nothing. Side is that Velcro again. Other side is that Velcro again. On this side or in the top, you can see that there's a uh, a silver. It's a button actually. I was trying to refer to what it looks like, but that's what it is. It ends up being a button so that you can click your screens while you're watching your Google Cardboard. And that's it. So let's open it up. So it's just held together by Velcro, um, but it's a very strong Velcro. It holds on very tightly. And so the first thing you want to do is you open it all the way. So I got. hope you guys can see this. So I'm just opening it all the way and folding it over. Here's the Velcro strap they gave you that turns into the head strap. Okay. So what you would first would do is take it, apply it to the side, like so. And then fold it over. I'm trying to do this in slow motion. Even though I'm not going in slow motion, just to make sure you guys can see it. And you attach this side as well. Now as you can see... You got a head strap to put on. Okay. So then you take the piece that was inside the box here. As you notice, there's a Velcro tab here and there's a Velcro tab here. So you just fold it over to the back side towards the lens. And you take the Velcro and you just attach it. Just like that. Same thing this side. Take the Velcro, attach it. Just like that. Now, you have your little visor part with your head strap on, okay? Just like it shows on the box. That's where we're at. Now we're on step three, putting the, putting the phone in. So, putting the phone in, like I said, I'm using my Nexus 6P. Um, with this model, you want to make sure that you put it with the button side up so you're not resting it on the buttons. Let me turn it on. I love that fingerprint reader in the back. So, um... What you can do is you can go to Google. Sorry about the delay. Google.com. And if you type in just Google Cardboard. Hope you guys can see this. And scroll down to where it says get Google Cardboard. Or if you could have just went to the website that's on the back of the box that says Google dot com backslash cardboard 
this gives you many options uh, which you can use the cardboard for there's a lot of third-party stuff out, still out there uh, we're not going to discuss that today but this is just the Google stuff so that you can get a quick view get up and running and check it out um, so you can get the you can get the viewer like I said the viewer app is what I will be showing you guys today that walks you to everything um, shows you how to set it up it also has a direct link so you can click get apps um, so they can go directly into the Google Play Store and download that um, for developers, there's a way to develop for this. Um, there's also a application that allows you to record video and then use that as your Google uh, Cardboard images. So it's called Google Camera or Google Cardboard Camera, I believe it is. Um, and it's really, really cool. So yeah, that one is called, uh, it's just called Cardboard Camera. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into, not Cardboard Camera, that was a mistake. I'm going to jump into the Cardboard app from Google, and I'm just going to pick something random. Uh, no one did you care. Let's do... Uh, should have thought about this beforehand. I'm just going to do the Paul McCarthy. <laughs> Alright, so as you see, what it does is it comes in uh, dual screen like this in the middle. It gives you the settings option. So you can change your setup if you want for best experiences set for you. This for me is already set up. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. So now what you do is you take this and you just sit it inside the box. Now, it does fit the screen width of the Nexus P 6P. It just doesn't securely hold the Nexus 6P in place. So... I'm going to tighten it as much as possible. Now here's the problem. You see my Nexus 6P is in there. It still slides. I don't know if it's because of the aluminum on the Nexus 6P why I can't get a grip on there, but it doesn't, and then it, it just doesn't sit in there. It doesn't fit flush. As you see, it's sticking out the outside of the phone or the box. Um, so you just got to be careful with it. So when you're watching this, you really want to make sure that you still got your hands on the side. You don't want to drop your phone, especially for a Google Cardboard that only costs you $15. So. Anyway, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to really see this. Um, let me just take this piece off just to show you guys. So, I don't know if you guys can really see the experience, but it's saying to me right now to read into it, we cannot certify this device. Continue with your experience and quality of video, yes. And to click through, I just press the button. Um, I don't know why it says, I think that's just because it's the John McCarthy app, because when I did this with Google app and a bunch of other apps, I didn't have any issues at all. So then it says, Paul McCarthy live in concert and candles, record live August 14th, 2014. Uh, and then it shows exactly who did this. So, it's kind of like a 3D image. Um, it's really cool. You can control your scenes, you can move around. They have a world app that you can control. You can fly around, you know, the world. You can fly into space and look down on Earth. It's really, really cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, some will say it's kind of gimmicky, but for the price, and if you're a nerd, you're gonna absolutely love this. Um, I enjoy this a lot. I think it's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, watching it, playing it, it's just, it's just a great time. So, would I recommend this? Yeah, if you can catch these on sale, I'll say probably about ten dollars. You want something fun to play with that's not gonna break your pockets. Something enjoyable, I would say definitely get one. If it was me and you're rocking with the Nexus 6P, I wouldn't get this version. I would get a bigger version, um, probably a plastic version that my own phone can actually lock in place so that I can enjoy the experience more. I don't have to worry about my phone sliding out. I know it's securely in place. I can put the strap on my head and I can lay back in bed and watch a movie or watch some videos. And you can watch YouTube with this. Um, you know, it, it, that to me would be a whole lot of fun. And like I said, just the fact that you have to worry about falling out, um, you know, damaging your phone is not that great of experience. I'm not going to really go through too much on how it looks just because of the fact is with these lenses and how it's zoomed in, I'm sure the camera is not going to be able to pick that up correctly. Um, I can already see like a bubble effect and I'm sitting back further from it. So I know the camera's going to have issues. For those who wear glasses, um, I myself wear glasses. So I'm in the same circle as you guys. Um, it is a little difficult to wear glasses inside this box. My glasses barely fit in. Um, it's not the greatest experience. It doesn't feel the best. Um, but like I said, once again, I mean, this is a cheap virtual reality machine that's just supposed to be fun, enjoyable, and, and that's what it is. So, 
Uh, it's your boy Tech B Swift. If you have any questions, concerns, let me know. I got a big project coming up for you guys right now. Right now, I'm building a golf simulator in my basement from scratch. Um, I'll tell you guys all the details later on about it, but it's about to be freaking amazing. I am doing videos on that as well, and I'm going to post all of them at the end just to show you guys exactly how I built the projector. Um, but I think it's going to blow you guys' mind, and it's going to be freaking amazing. So once again, it's your boy Tech B Swift. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, keep it moving. Have a great day.